Hi, welcome to the Mostly Mike Show. Today I am going to do something completely different. I dedicate this video to someone very special. She has made sort of a cameo appearance in one of my videos which has more views and likes than any other video in my portfolio thus far. Feeling stronger yet? Oh, I'm ready to <laughs> run up the hill. <laughs> and that special person would be my mom. What a difference, it changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> Although she's very difficult to buy the perfect gift for, I can never go wrong with conquering a project for her. So in light of Mother's Day, I'm going to repair a section of fence along her driveway. Truth be told though, it didn't have to be Mother's Day for me to do this. She has done countless things for me over the years which I can never completely repay her for. My mom's split rail fence had recently fallen over due to rotting at the base of the post. And oddly, all but two of the posts had completely fallen over just a week or so before this video was, um, posted. I had tried conventional post hole diggers just to try to dig the rotted sections out, but no luck. Sounds easy, I know, but no. <laughs> Things in the ground just rot in a weird taper that is really hard to grip with anything. So plan B it is. Dig alongside the old ones with the steel post hole auger. The only problem with the auger is that I broke the 6 inch auger bit by hitting a positive stop while boring holes for my boathouse addition to my garage, so it was in need of a repair attempt. In hindsight, I really wish that I would have filmed the repair of this auger bit. If it happens to break again in the future, I'll be sure to make a repair video. I bent it back as close as I could get, drove a solid steel shaft down the center, then welded it the best I could. Now let's see if my repair works. So the plan is to bore each hole right beside the rotted off post and sidestep the fence about 4 inches, which should be relatively unnoticeable to the naked eye, or even the slightly clothed eye for that matter. If the dirt isn't too rocky, this steel post hole auger can save you a ton of work, and this dirt happens to be perfect, although the job itself is actually, um, boring. The auger cut nearly effortless and the repair is a success, so I'll quickly drill the rest of the holes, then start setting the new post. While this is not a tutorial by any means, this footage should give you a general idea of what needs to be done. We're perfect. I was able to complete this small project by myself in just over two hours, with virtually no hiccups. Yo. This is, of course, minus the paint job which will have to wait until things dry out a bit. Can you please do me a favor and click the thumbs up while you're watching this time lapse? Thanks a million, it really helps this channel out a lot. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, happy Mother's Day, and I'll see you next time.